Hello everyone watching from home. So I'm Nisa with Ignite and I am about to show you how to use your water jugs, your gallon water jugs that if both filled up are about a little over eight pounds each. And what I like about the water jugs is because the water sloshing around, it makes our bodies have to work harder. Our muscles have to work a little differently um, to balance. So that's gonna be the challenge here. And I love this opportunity to just experiment with different household items. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna warm us up for five minutes and then we're gonna go through 12 different exercises. It's gonna be cardio, strength, core. Cardio, strength, core. Cardio, strength, core. 12 exercises. We're gonna do 40 seconds of each exercise with a 20 second rest time. And then we're gonna rest for a minute after that whole set. And then we're gonna start all over again. All right, so we're gonna get this water jug workout going. Hi, Caroline Page, it's so good to see you. All right, here we go, we're gonna warm up or see your name, I should say. I don't have shoes on because I'm upstairs with, on my carpet. It's a super windy day here. Hi, Nikki in Tulsa, so I'm indoors. So that's why I'm not wearing shoes, but you wear shoes if you want. All right, we are gonna just kick our glutes to warm up our body. I know there's a weird glare up here, sorry about that. I'll try to make it as easy on the eyes as possible. All right, now we're gonna reach your arms up and we're just gonna go here. I like this stretch. I do this a lot in these workouts because it's so good to stretch out your hamstrings. Keep going. Good. Hello, Taylor. All right, now I want us to just come here, stretch out your quads, open up your chest. If you did yesterday's chair workout, or if you're gonna do it, expect to be sore in your pecs. That's where I am sore today. It's such a good feeling. All right, a little bit more. Back to our jog and place, okay? Back here, inhaling through your nose, exhaling, now jumping jacks, right here. Just jumping jacks. If you wanna take it low impact, at any point in time, please do what's best for you. That is so important. Okay, now what I want you to do is cross over your body, reach up, cross over, reach up, over and up. So as I was saying earlier, this is the water jug, plyometric strength and core workout. So we're gonna experiment with that, which is gonna be great. Couple more, draw the lower abs in. All right, we're gonna take it into a reverse lunge. So here, take that knee back and come to center. Back, come to center. So I want you, we're gonna do some lunges here. So I wanna make sure you get good and stretched out in this lunge. So let's do this. I want you to hold the one lunge right, right here. So left or right leg in front, whichever. Opposite arm lifts up tall. Back knee is on the ground. Lift up and stretch up. And then let's take it down to the ground for just a deep hip flexor stretch. Flex your foot so your toes are curled under. Thank you guys for joining me. So glad to see your names. All right, let's go ahead and switch legs. Take the other leg back. All right, and let's just lift that opposite arm up tall, tall, tall. Sink through your hips. Lift up, look up, breathe. And then let's take the arm down and hold this here. Good, hold this here. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, great job. All right, now what I want us to do, just take it to the ground real fast for a lower back extension, okay? So, like a Superman, you're just coming up and down, and up and down, stretching out the lower back, shoulders down away from your ears. What I don't want you to do is to look at me right now. I want you looking at the ground, 
to keep your spine neutral. All right, let's do four more. Here's four, three, two, and one. Great job. Press it all the way back into your child's pose. Sink through your hips. And then let's go ahead and come to standing. And we're going to get this water jug party started. Okay, guys, so let me explain to you again what we're going to do. We have, this is plyometric strength and core. So we're going to use these water jugs right here to every single time as our weight. And they slosh around, which is what's great. It's going to make our body have to work a little harder versus having one compact weight. So it goes like this. Every ex we've got 12 exercises. Every exercise is 40 seconds long with a 20 second rest time to then go to the next side. exercise. The order goes like this. Plyometric, strength, core. Plyometric, strength, core. Just like that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So get your water jugs ready, your yoga mat if you want. For sure have your water ready. Let me show you the first exercise is with one water jug. We're just gonna take it down to the ground and lift up, down, jump up, okay? I haven't started our time yet. That's just the first exercise. All right, let's get ready. I'm starting our timer. Ready, set, 40 seconds. Here we go, take it down, jump it up. If you don't wanna jump it up, you're just gonna alternate your steps. Now careful, what I just did is I'm actually unscrewing my water, um, a little thing up here, whatever that's called. And so you don't wanna do that or water's gonna come out everywhere. So lift that water jug up high to the sky. You feel it sloshing around. Keep going. We have four, don't stop. All right, rest. This time, grab both of your water and do a sumo squat to a high row, okay? That looks like this. Sumo squat or plie, high row. Keep your new wrist nice and neutral, okay? Ready, here we go. Take it up and down. So this is the strength. So here's the deal. What I think is kind of cool about the water jugs is at any point in time, you need less weight. Just get, take some water out. Great job, halfway there. Stay here. Deep sumo squat, high row. Keep your wrist, stay where you are. I'm gonna show you, keep your wrist neutral. Don't let him break, okay? Keep going. In four, three, two, rest. All right, we've got one water jug. Next exercise is gonna be a Russian twist, like this. Side, I'm gonna lift my legs up, okay? You do not have to, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you from this angle. Ready, here we go. Side to side. So if you're gonna lift your feet up, I want you to try to keep your legs in one place. Try not to let them go side to side. Keep them in one place, and that is gonna make your abs work even harder. Feet down is perfectly great, but I would like for you to go a little slower. Okay, a little slower, breathing side to side. You have 10 more seconds, keep going. In five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, here we go. What's next is we're back to plyometrics, our sprawl. So we're gonna add on to what we did a while ago with this guy, okay? But so we're gonna take it down, jump it back, Jump it forward, jump it up, okay? Jump back into a plank, okay, here we go, let's go. Jump it back to a plank, jump it forward, take your water jug, jump it up. So careful when you go back to keep that good, strong plank. Don't let your hips dip, okay? So jump or step it 
that. Always quality over quantity, okay? Do what you can do that allows you to do your best. We have five seconds. Don't stop. Finish with me. Rest. Great job. All right. We are going to take one foot water jug. This is our strength. We are gonna front or reverse lunge, whatever you want. Lunge, pass it through, bring it up. Lunge, pass it through. Ready? Here we go. Lunge, lateral raise. Lunge, lateral raise. If you raise, if you can, a back knee to the ground. If you need to reverse lunge, that's great. Either way, guys, keep your chest tall. Try not to round forward. I like this one for me. I like going forward. But again, you do the lunge that feels best for you. All right, rest. <clears throat> Sticking with the pass-through theme, we are going to, let me show you from this angle, a bicycle passing the water jack right here. Pass, 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 pass. You ready? Set. <clears throat> here we go. Pass. Sometimes it works to grab the handle. Sometimes it doesn't. So here's the trick with this one. Stay tall and lifted through your chest. You don't want to be rounding forward. So if this bothers you, you can just go back to your Russian twist or you can just come here. Holding the water jug and bringing your knees in that bicycle-like position. Right now though, I'm also feeling some of my biceps and my quads. So here we go, bicycle pass through. Rest, okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're getting our two water jugs and putting them about six to eight feet apart, okay? And we're gonna side shuffle like this. Side shuffle, pick it up. Side shuffle, drop it, grab the other one. Ready, here we go. I'm taking my jug, drop it. Taking the other jug, dropping it. So I'm always traveling with the jug. Never not traveling with the jug. So when you're here, try not to, actually you don't even need two jugs for this. What was I thinking? You can just keep the one jug, hold it with both hands, tap the ground. Try not to cross your feet. Defensive slide is what we're going for here. Awesome, rest. Good job, that was cardio. Now we're going for a bent over row, okay? That is, grab both your water jugs, build up their 8.3 pounds. We're right here. Row, row, ready. Here we go. Keep your knees soft. Squeeze your elbows to your side. So here guys, see how my elbows are disappearing behind me. You don't want right now to pull here or up. These go behind you. You lose them in your peripheral vision, okay? If this squat seated stance bothers you, take it to a stagger stance. Work right here, okay? So you want a good flat back, long neutral spine, and rest. Great work. All right, our next one, suitcase crunch. I'm gonna show you the side angle. Hold on to one water jug. We come together and apart, together, apart. Bring it back so your legs always stay up. Ready, go. So actually feet drop to the ground, legs are bent the whole time. And we come up with our sloshy water jug and taps the ground behind us, and we draw those abs in. Pull the abs in, not letting our lower back arch, 
bring your knees up to the water jug. That's when our lower abs start to really work. I'm unscrewing the lid as we speak. I might just guzzle this whole water jug in a minute. Almost there. And rest. Great work. All right. Strength. Alternating lunge with the twist. Hold this guy right here. Again, I love this for the sloshiness. Front or reverse makes no difference to me, but you're going to twist over the leg in front. Okay? Ready. Here we go. Lunge. So check this out. When you lunge, your knees, your front knee stays in one place. It does not swivel with you. Okay? It stays stationary. Oop, oh, went the wrong way. It stays stationary the whole time. So we are working into our obliques here, but also because my arms are bent, this is biceps too. Legs, shoulders. This is a compound exercise, meaning we're working more than one muscle group at the same time, which is awesome. Always what we want. Okay, back to our core. And then guys, that was our 12 exercises. We take a minute break and we repeat. Jackknife abs, legs are straight. Arms go back behind us. This time we reach our toes up and then down. And then up and then down. Ready, go. So we're making an I and then we're making a V. And an I and a V. Reach it back, lift it up. Reach it back, lift it up. Inhale back, exhale forward. So try to get oh, your legs to reach up to the water jug. Stop the water jug when it gets just in front of your eyes and bring your legs up to the water jug. Nice work. Woo! Burn, baby, burn. Great job, guys. Rest. We have a one minute break, okay? Tell me what you think. Who knew water jugs could be so tricky? Thanks for any extra eyeballs who I see are popping up. So glad you're joining us. This is the water jug. Plyometric strength and core workout. We're in a break. We just went through our 12 exercises. Plyometric strength core. And we're gonna repeat again. But the first thing we're gonna do is grab a little water, making sure you're hydrating. All right, guys, here we go. We are gonna start here in 10 seconds. Keep hydrating, okay? I'm starting our music. Here we go. We are starting all over to the beginning, okay? On your mark, get set. We're starting with our squat jump to lift. Grab your jug, here we go. Take it down, jump it up, down. If you don't want to jump, you are going to squat and lift. Squat and lift. Good job. Keep it up. So just remember in your squats, get your butt down, keep your chest high. What we don't want is you to round, okay? Nice and tall. This is the higher impact option. Great work. I'm just going to tell you. We're closing in. And rest. Great work. Okay. Sumo squat to upright row. Grab both of your water jugs. Okay. Ready. Set. And oh, we're still resting. Caroline, I love that you have your weights. That's perfect. Anything you can use to substitute as weights is great. So Deep sumo squat to high row. So wherever you are, remember, you're keeping a strong, neutral wrist. Don't let it bend. Bad for your wrist? Definitely don't want injury. Bring the jugs up to your chin. Up, up, up. We are working inner thighs, quads, and traps right up here guys our traps 
right here. Keep going. Oh, rest. I cheated. I went a little over. Okay. Russian twist is what we have next, okay? So, if you choose to lift your legs, I want you slow. Don't let your legs go back and forth, okay? Ready? Here we go. Side to side. Side to side. Keep your core really tight. So, you're just making a little bit of a rainbow arch here, okay? So, keep your chest tall. Arms are bent. Biceps are working. Obliques are working. Squeeze those knees together tight. If you don't want to bring your legs up, you're keeping them down, but you still are keeping impeccable form. This is totally great. Especially if you have tight hip flexors that sometimes ache when you bring your legs up. Rest. Great job. All right, guys. We are now back to our sprawl. Let me remind you what that sprawl is. We, down to the ground, jug is down to the ground. We jump it back, we jump it forward, we jump it up, okay? On your mark. Here we go, guys. Get set, let's go. You can step it back or you can jump it back. Whatever you do, your focus is on your form, okay? Super strong, flat back here. Okay, eyes come forward as you are in that deep sumo squat. If your eyes go down, then your posture starts to go down. And no rounded backs is our goal. All right, rest, woo! All right, we have the lunge with lateral raise pass through, okay? Okay. That is reverse lunge or front lunge. I like a front lunge on this. You do what's best for you. Okay, ready. And here we go. Lunge past the dumbbell or a water jug underneath your hamstring. Bring it up to a lateral raise. So the trick on this is keeping tall oh, as you pass and not coming here. See the difference? So it's actually, because it's strength, we're going nice and slow. And if you have short arms, this could be tricky. Or a long torso and short legs, like me. It makes it a little more challenging. Rest. All right, guys. Same kind of drill. Pass through here, okay? We're gonna take the water jug and we're gonna bicycle, pass through, pass through. If you don't wanna pass through, you are coming here. And that's awesome. Okay? Ready? Here we go. We're passing. And passing. Breathe it out. Keep your chest really high. Stay nice and tall. Nice and tall. You know what? I'm just realizing. I knew I forgot something a while ago. Forgot a cardio or plyometric exercise. We'll double up on that. I will make sure we get it in because it's a good one. You don't want to miss it. How are we doing, guys? I feel that burn in my core, in my biceps, in my quads. All right. Great job. Rest. Okay, we have that lateral shuffle here using one or two of your water jugs, whichever you would like. Okay, here we go. We are starting here in four, three, two, here we go. Hold it, drop it down, hold it. Big defensive slide here. Tap it down, tap it down. All right, halfway there. Stay low. Legs are bent. 90 degrees. How are we doing? The lateral movement is always cardiovascular. 
Awesome. Rest. All right. Next is going to be our bent over row with our jugs or our weights right here. Okay, you still have 10 more seconds. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, here we go. Pull it and row. Draw your lower abs in. Eyes are forward. So you just don't want your chin to collapse to your chest. You want to really stick your butt back. Elbows come right by your side. And the water jugs come by your waistline, not your shoulders. Okay? This is a rhomboid lat, so a back exercise. Even though our shoulders are working, that is not where the emphasis is. Emphasis is in our back. All right, rest. Okay. Suitcase crunch. I'll show you what's going on here. All right, that is, you are holding on to your water jug. You take the water jug or weight back, bring it to your knees. Heels touch the ground, bring it up. Ready, go. Bring it up. Inhale back, exhale up. Crunch it up, close your suitcase, open your suitcase. Close. So when you go back, I want you to knit your ribs and your abs together. So what I mean is don't let your back arch and your ribs pop out. You want to keep your abs and core engaged, your lower back pressed to the mat or the carpet, wherever you are the whole time. Keep going, keep going, and rest. Great work. All right, here's the one I forgot a while ago. Okay, so this is a jump with and a jump without. Water jug here, so we jump with the water jug, we jump without it, then we switch hands. Jump with, jump without, jump with, okay? Ready, go, but we are not yanking the water jug up. We're just jumping with it. Squat low, jump high. Squat low, jump high. So we're just adding some extra weight to this exercise. Make our bodies work a little bit harder. Great work, guys. Keep it up. You got it. 10 seconds left. Don't stop. We got this. In five, I'm not gonna count. Three, two, woo! Oh, great work. This is gonna make this next one because our legs are wobbly, a little more tiring. That's good. Okay, we are lunge with the twist, but this time I want you to go to the inside. Okay, last time we twisted to the outside. This time, I want you to twist to the inside. And you can feel this also. Lots of obliques, biceps, quads, glutes, hamstrings. Compound all the way. All right, we're getting there. Sorry about my music. Just decided it wanted to stop. Woo! Keep breathing it out. Rest. All right, guys. Jackknife abs. We go this way. We are in an I with our water jugs, and then we're in a V. So reach the arms behind you, holding on to your jug. Ready, set, and reach up. Water jug to toes or ankles, whatever you can do. But I really want you to stop with the water jug at a certain point and then bring your knees or your legs up to the water jug. We don't want to bring the water jug to the legs. It's more so we want to bring the legs up to the water jug. And when we do that, our lower abs work harder than they already are. And I know all of us 
would not mind some lower ab work. Woo, great job. All right, so here's what we got. We're gonna go back to, we're gonna go back to that jump with, jump without, okay? Here we go. Because that was the end of it, but we missed out on this one before, so we're gonna do it again. All right, ready. Here we go, jump with, jump without, jump with, jump without. So we're switching hands each time. I have to say it in my head. Jump with, jump without. Jump with, jump without. Jump with, jump without. Great work, guys. How are those legs feeling? I'm feeling the burn in both my heart and in my quads and in my hamstrings and in my glutes. We're so there. We're so close. Three, two, rest. Woo! Great job, guys. Okay, we have like five minutes left to work out. Hi, Karen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do everything again, but it's only gonna be for 20 seconds. So half of what we did a while ago. And we're gonna just rest for 10 seconds and then move on to that next one because I wanna make sure we get a good stretch but we also have time to spare, okay? So I wanna make sure we use all that time. So 12 exercises, 20 seconds each, 10 second break, okay? We got this. Hydrate one more time. All right. I just start my timer on my watch. All right, here we go. We're starting with our squat jump to lift. Ready. Catch your breath. Get set. Here we go. We're lifting up, down. 20 seconds. Big deep squat. Chest is open. You're squatting low, low, low. Keep going. Don't stop. Five seconds. Four, three, two, rest. Sumo squat to upright row. We're starting in five. Four, three, two, here we go. This is called the bonus round. Exhale up. All right, halfway there. Remember, work on our traps here. Abs are in, wrists are neutral. We have one second done. Russian twist, okay? Here we go, we're starting in five, Four, three, two, here we go. So, I'm gonna go slow still on this. Keep your knees, don't let your knees do this. Keep them in one place. Oh my gosh, it's so much harder. Woo, eight seconds. Then we have our sprawl. Rest. All right, power round right here. Get ready for that sprawl. I'm gonna turn my jugs long ways. In three, two, here we go. Jump it back, jump it forward, jump it up. So we're just adding a plank to what we did while ago with that squat jump to lift. Okay, guess what? Five seconds, four, three, two, rest. All right, alternating lunge with the lateral raise pass through. Take the lunge front or back. Ready? Here we go. Keep your posture very tall. Watch the front knees. Just 10 more seconds. Lift it up. Chest is tall. Let's see. You're done. All right. Bi let's see. Bicycle pass through. Okay? pass through right here. Ready? And here we go. 20 seconds. I'm going to show you. I like this angle better when I'm teaching. This one burns up my biceps. Five seconds, guys. Four, three, two, rest. All right, lateral shuffle. Two, pick up. All right, ready, set, here we go. Lateral 
shuffle, tap, lateral shuffle, tap, lateral shuffle, tap. So make sure your leg, your feet are not crossing. You have five seconds left. Four, three, two, rest. Bent over row. How do you guys like this bonus round? Woo, hi Rebecca. All right, here we go guys. We're rowing. And row. Squeeze your elbows in. And pull. Abs are in tight. Draw the lower abs. 10 seconds. Away from the elastic in your shorts or your tights. Back is flat, spine is neutral. Keep it up. Rest. Yes, suitcase crunch. Okay? This is our power round. All right, take this back. Bring the jog to the knees. Ready? Go. Legs are bent the whole time. Bring it up. Exhale. Remember, we're opening the suitcase and we're closing it. But don't let your ribs splay out. Keep your ribs knitted in for a strong, tight core. Keep it up. And done. Woo! Jump with, jump without. Ready? Set. And ready? Here we go. Jump. Jump with us. Big exhale. Each time. Super deep squat. 10 seconds left. Deep squat. Jump with. Jump with out. And rest. I just made up my own version of that. I don't know what just happened. Usually I was jumping with my legs apart. This time I was bringing them in. I don't know what took over. All right, alternating lunge with the twist. Ready, go. Twist to the outside this time, okay? Big oblique twist. Keep these arms 90 degrees the whole time, okay? Five seconds left. Four, three, two, last one in. Okay, jackknife abs. This is it. Then we rest. We're starting in four, three, two, one. Making an I. Going up to a V. I. Bring it up. Super straight legs if you can the whole time. Keep your abs, your ribs knitted together. Don't let them splay out to the side. Okay, guys, we have three, two, and last one, everybody. One. Nice work. Woo! All right, great job. How are we feeling? Heart rate pumping? Okay, we're gonna cool down. We're gonna use these last five minutes to cool down because I believe that's one of the most important things we can do right now is find this good time to breathe and rest. If you wanna go back and do more of this, after this is live and posted, you just rewind and we're good to go. Stay with me if you can, okay? Let's take it all the way to our backs. All right, take it to our backs. I want you to lift your right leg up high, high, high. Bring your chin to your chest. Don't do that yet, don't know why I said that. <laughs> Straighten out that right leg as much as you can. Grab behind your hamstring, reach your left leg long. Draw your chin to your chest. And maybe this right leg is shaking a little bit. That is so normal. I'll keep this here. That just means you worked really hard. And so I like to say with stretching, it's mild discomfort, okay? All right, bring your right knee into your right shoulder. As you do this, I love this effect of pulling the knee to the shoulder. And so you're pulling, but you're also pulling your shoulders down away from your ears. Like this turtle whose neck just got longer out of its shell, pull, 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 shoulders down away from your ears, and then take it across your body. So this is active stretching. So that means, yes, your body is relaxed, but you're actually applying a little pressure to it too. Try to get your right arm down to the ground, look over your right shoulder, and gently press your left hand to your right knee. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Hold this here. 
All right, let's come back to center. Now bring the right knee out to the side. I just want you to let your hips relax. Take your arms, open them out to the side too. Your right foot is to the inside of your left knee. Open these hips wide, arms are out. This time, to be honest with you, I don't care if your ribs splay out. I just want you to relax. If you're in a relaxed, non-contracted position, your ribs are gonna kinda, your back is gonna arch and it's natural curvature and your ribs are gonna splay out and that is fine because we are just relaxing and stretching. All right, reach your right leg all the way out in front of you. Give both legs a big shake. Okay, let's do the same thing to the left leg. Bring the left leg up. If you don't have great range of motion, for sure bring your right leg and bend it. But if you can keep your right leg down and anchor to the ground while you have your left leg extended up towards the ceiling, I would recommend you doing that because then it's going to stretch out your right hip flexor too. Flex your foot, draw your chin into your chest without your head coming off the mat. And breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, now let's bring this left knee into the left shoulder. Shoulders down away from your ears. Big inhale and exhale. So here you wanna make sure both shoulders are down, anchored to the ground, chin is drawn into your chest and extend your right leg forward as you pull, pull, pull that left knee up. But while you pull the left knee up, shoulders down away from your ears also. And then take this left leg all the way across your body. Good spinal twist, looking over your left shoulder your left shoulder is anchored on the ground and you're just gently pressing your, your right hand to the left knee, finding that good juicy spinal twist and smiling and breathing. And then come back to center. And let's take this left leg out to the side Open up your arms, let your body completely relax. Your left knee is open to the sky or the ceiling. I had to move inside today because the wind is blowing so bad here in Oklahoma. I think it would have blown my computer onto the ground. Breathe here and hold this. And now take both legs out in front of you. Give everything a good shake. And bring both of your knees into your chest, gentle as you bring your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms all the way around your knees. Again, draw your chin into your chest, and I keep emphasizing that because it's so good for our neck and spine to stay, to, to work on getting nice and long and neutral because of all the forwardness that we do, looking at our phones, looking at our computers, just everything forward. It causes the, our spine to curve and our chin to pop forward. So we wanna work on getting the spine nice and neutral and long. Take your knees from side to side, stretching out your lower back. All right, guys, we're gonna finish. I'm gonna finish you off in Shavasana. So take your arms, we have one minute above your head. Big full body stretch, and then arms come by your side. Draw your chin into your chest. I want your whole body to relax right now. And I want you to just enjoy this one minute, 30 seconds of just Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Inhaling and exhaling. Big inhale and big exhale. Stay here. Close your eyes even. And here's just what I want you to focus on right now is um, the unexpected blessings that have come out of this. And I would love to hear if you want to comment after this video or at, when you're finished, what unexpected blessings have you experienced throughout this unexpected time? Love to share, because I think that kind of stuff, sharing these things is contagious and it puts us in such a positive mental space. And just a reminder, just keep things fun. Be grateful for this opportunity, for all the growth that's coming from it. And remember, we can do hard things. And I'm going to close this just in a little word of prayer. Gracious God, thank you for bringing us together again today. We are so thankful for this opportunity to share um, and exercise and nurture our bodies together. We pray for your wisdom, for your knowledge, for your insight, insight and for healing. 
I thank you for your peace, for your comfort, and for your love. I ask you to bring us back here together, safe and sound tomorrow in your most holy and precious name. Amen. Guys, thank you for being here today. Have a great day. Fill up those water jugs. Now let's all just guzzle our water. I actually think that would be the better idea. Have a great day. See you back tomorrow. Broomstick exor exercises tomorrow is the theme of the workout. So see you back tomorrow, 12 o'clock Friday with your broomsticks. Have a great day.